from Earl Barnett, of course, at the CBS Broadcast Center in New York as we continue to cover breaking developments on these pro-Palestinian protests on college campuses all over the country. At this moment, those protests have erupted on the campus of USC, that's the University of Southern California. CBS News Los Angeles reporter Luz Delia Caballero is there on campus with us and can help us understand what's happening now. Luz Delia, what are you seeing? Well, right now, the protest is mostly peaceful. That's actually how it started a couple of hours ago. When we arrived, students were putting down their blankets here at Alumni Park. They were also starting to put up their tents. They were very clear in what they wanted. Peace in the Middle East, a cease of war between Israel and Gaza. We also spoke to a student from the Jewish Voice for Peace here at USC's chapter. They say that that they stand alongside their Palestinian brothers and sisters in solidarity. They, too, wanting peace. And then maybe 30, 40 minutes into this protest, officers arrived. They started to uh, come in with their police vehicles. One thing we noticed is that because, you know, the amount of protesters started in the hundreds and then quickly escalated to over a 1,000, that sound, whatever officers are trying to tell protesters from their patrol car, that's completely drowned out. And we couldn't even hear what police officers were trying to say. Next thing we know, they storm Alumni Park and they start taking tents away from the students. Students were obviously trying to push back in terms of forming a physical line barrier between uh, the other protesters behind them and obviously the police presence in front of them. And then within five minutes, that all took a turn. Emotions were definitely heightened. We were pushed and shoved in the mix. O officers trying to get those tents from students. Students quickly realizing, hey, if we pick up these tents, maybe they won't take them away from us. And then we started to see a march with students and their tents in the air. And eventually, we were right in front of a student as he was tackled to the ground and detained, later putting him in a police car uh, down below. You can clearly see a police line here. Uh, we have reached, we have heard that the LAPD will be coming on campus in just a little bit. But as of now, it is peaceful. And now back to the student who was detained. A lot of people flocked that police car that was trying to get out with that student who was detained, uh, but to no avail because students were, you know, hitting the patrol car, making it very, very well known that they were not going to budge, not going to move. And their efforts evidently paid off because that student was released. And then all of the tens of or hundreds of students, now thousands, went across the way to Alumni Park and now they are marching what appears to be very peacefully. Luzdelia, you're doing a great job in having and walking us through this delicate balance between allowing students to peacefully protest, but police trying to also control the situation in some other campuses across the country. I'm thinking of Columbia University here in New York. Jewish students have said they've been experiencing anti-Semitic attacks as part of these pro-Palestinian protests, and they want campuses to do more. You noted that these students are trying to set up encampments. What really is the goal of these pro-Palestinian students, who you note have been mostly peaceful, but obviously the security situation there is changing by the minute? I mean, immediately they want USC's to, to cut all ties that have to do with funding anything that has to do with this war uh, against Gaza. Immediately that's what they said. Obviously, they want peace there. And as I mentioned before, the USC's chapter of Jewish Voice for Peace, they tell us they stand in solidarity with their brothers and sisters here today. Another thing, I mean, this is coming on the heels of USC making headlines for what students here say silencing their valedictorian, which, by the way, has a minor in resistance to genocide. So this is a point that comes up time and time again when we talk to various students here. They just want to be heard, and they told us that this protest, this peaceful protest, this encampment, uh, they want to stay, and they want to stay until they're heard. So they're really just trying to make their voices heard. And bottom line, they just want peace in the Middle East. A very important topic, and it's not just there in Southern California, but really at college campuses across 
the country uh, aiming for this outcome as it relates to Israel's war ongoing still with Hamas. Uh, Luzdelia Caballero, thanks for bringing us that latest information there on the campus of USC.